pajamas, and I am Holy Spirit. I decided to devise a, a list of questions, one through nine, and I'm going to call upon a member of the audience to come up and they're going to pick a number. And then here's the tricky part, just like last week, whoever just gets done with the table topics, they get to choose the next victim. <laughs> so at first, I would like to call up Eric. Pick a number between one through nine. One. One. The longest you have ever stayed up and why? Ooh. <laughs> I think now. All right, the longest I've ever stayed up and why was probably when I first went to Europe. Now, it's mostly because of the long flight. And this was when I was probably around 13 years old, and we first took a flight to, I think, New York, and then we had another flight from New York to Paris. And the first flight was okay. I think I watched like one movie, I can't remember what it was. But the next flight was absolutely terrible. And it wasn't really anything that, well, there was one thing with the flight, but it wasn't really flight attendants or anything. They were actually really nice people. But we were close to where the bathrooms are. And in front of the bathrooms, they had these TVs. But they were the bigger kinds. Like if you've been into like longer flights, they have little mini TVs that you can turn off. Well, these TVs didn't turn off. They were the big ones. And the only thing, well, they showed a movie at one point. But the other thing that they showed was a top-down view of the world. And it showed the flight where it was at. So. I wouldn't have a problem with this, but it didn't turn off. So pretty much I would be looking, maybe reading for a little bit, then I'll look up and I'll just see the little flight move just a tiny bit. And it was excruciating, ex oh, I can't say that word, excruciating. <laughs> I still can't say that word, but I'll move on. And it just made the flight that was probably about eight to 10 hours feel like it was about 20 hours. And I finally got into Paris, I didn't get any sleep, we got to the hotel, and it was like 12 o'clock in the afternoon in Paris. So I still had, like, had to wait another 6 to 8 hours to actually go to sleep. So I hadn't had any sleep for about 24 hours, I was really tired, and, but I couldn't get to sleep, and I couldn't sleep, so I don't think I actually got to sleep till about, probably about 1 or 2 o'clock in, in the morning. It's probably had been somewhere about 12 to, I mean, 24 to 36 hours since I had sleep, and, but that sleep was absolutely amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tabletop was not there. Tom, will you go with the, the time constraints? I did realize I forgot to use the time constraints. Kayla, can you please describe the time constraints? <laughs> For our table topics, the time constraints are a little bit shorter. So at, at one minute, you'll get the, the green. At one and a half minutes, you'll get the yellow. And at two minutes, you get the red. And you qualify for the voting if you complete your speech within two minutes and 30 seconds. Thank you, Taylor. Taylor, you get to choose the first time to Uh, I pick snack to have in the middle of the night after a long study session is popcorn. <laughs> Microwave popcorn is one of my favorite things to eat. It doesn't help that I live in the dorms and when you live on campus there's a whole dining commons that cooks for you so they tend not to have food in, like, in your room. But it closes at 7 so in the middle of the night I have to eat what I have, what I can cook in a microwave. Which isn't a problem for me because microwave popcorn is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I started loving popcorn when I was little because on Sunday nights my family would get together and we would have family movie night. And my mom also loves popcorn and so she would cook us popcorn every Sunday. And my mom really liked 
burnt popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> so she would intentionally burn it. <laughs> so that's when I grew up like eating burnt popcorn. So I actually really like it. And sometimes people will get mad at me because I'll cook the popcorn and they'll say, Kayla, you can't cook the popcorn because you always eat the popcorn. <laughs> but it's so good. And that's my favorite snack to have in the middle of the night. <laughs> Topics. <laughs> Who doesn't want to think about this? <laughs> I love lazy days. I mean, it's great to be productive, don't get me wrong. And I enjoy being productive. But to have a nice, lazy day, now that's something that's really special. If I had a nice, lazy day where I could just do nothing, or nothing, whatever I want, type of nothing, I would definitely spend it with somebody who's special to me. <laughs> You may, you may know her, and I would probably probably have a movie night, something that I really want to enjoy. None of these chick flicks. <laughs> it was my lazy day. It's going to be my type of movie. <laughs> so I'm thinking of a, a trilogy. <laughs> perhaps Star Wars, or perhaps Indiana Jones. Oh. Definitely something that has Harrison Ford in it. <laughs> One of my table topics of the past was why to not watch any TV or movies. So I'm being a little hypocritical here. <laughs> so if I could not be productive and not have to worry about it, the trilogy would be in order. So that's what, we, that's what I would do on my lazy day. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Mark, you get to choose the next person. I have just a person in mind. Henry. <clears throat> Two through six or eight? Six. Six. What's the longest you've ever slept in? Oh, wow, the longest I ever slept in. Well, for the first time in my life, ladies and gentlemen, I slept for 13 hours. Oh. This is a complete <laughs> lie, but I'm going to roll with it. <laughs> okay. So, what happened was that I was working out, working out, and I worked out so hard, I collapsed in front of everyone. <laughs> everyone said, what's wrong with him? And someone came and said, oh, I know what's exactly wrong with him. He's sleeping. That's it. <laughs> let him be. Let him be. So 12 hours later, I get up, and I'm up. And that was my longest time sleeping. <laughs> 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 Getting up here with table topics and questions like this. Um, pretty scary. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, speaking in public is probably one of the scariest things people can do. So I don't see why I wouldn't have nightmares about them. It's a good thing that I don't remember my dreams, though. You know, I don't take notes, but I don't remember them. So, yeah, I do definitely have nightmares about uh, Toastmasters, I think. Um, Yeah, they say that uh, dreaming is often, uh, oftentimes a different way into um, your subconscious, and 
you actually unravel a lot of things in your life through dreaming. And so maybe these nightmares about Toastmasters kind of got me here at some point, up here talking about this. You know what? Now I remember this was a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, thank you. The worst nightmare I had was when I was put on the spot and told to uh, do one question from Toastmasters. <laughs> and now it just feels like reality. It feels like I'm deja vu. And um, I'm pretty thirsty right now, so I don't know what's going on. I think I feel like I'm going to collapse. I, mean, I probably haven't been working out as much, so that's probably not it. And I'm not as tired, so I'm not sure what it would be. But uh, Definitely, I already forgot what the question was, so it's... It must have been a terrible dream then. Uh, I don't know what else to say. And you get to pick the next person. I'll pick Katya. How do you say it again? Katya. Katya. around in a house, we have a particular movie or show that we always turn to when we're being lazy. What is that show or movie like? You just have to, oh my gosh, it's on Netflix, <laughs> all four seasons, I gotta watch it. <laughs> when you can just power through a marathon. Well, um, I don't really like to watch TV at all, and I don't really like to watch movies, but uh, I have some favorite movies, which is kind of ridiculous to say, but I like according to <laughs> and I spent a lot of nights watching this show. I like uh, the family described in this movie. I like the relationship described in this movie. And I don't know what to say yet. <laughs> well, um, another favorite movie is probably the most favorite movie for all women. It's Sex and the City. <laughs> <laughs> Which is... Um, it's actually the first movie that I saw in English, because English is in the second language, as you can see. Well, um, what else? And most of the time I watch Russian movies, because I was born in Russia and raised in Russia, and I've been living here only for six years. And I came here just knowing some of the words in English, like London is the capital of Great Britain, that's all that I know. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, Right now, I'm a senior here, and um, I'm trying to improve my English. That's why I came here. <laughs> now you get to choose the next person that gets to go up. Uh, I don't know how to come back here. Oh, yeah. Okay. question because I think I am part psychic because deja vu happens to me all the time all the time and uh, 